climbing perch, Anabas testudinus, which is popularly known as koi in most parts of India is a highly demanded fish. It is an important air-breathing fish, which can be considered for culture in the areas with low dissolved oxygen. It is a larvivorous feeder in habit. It is also popular for their lean meat, which contain easily digestible protein and fat of very low melting point and many essential amino acids making them ideal food. So, Anabas enjoys a good market demand in India particularly in the In this video oh, I will share with you 7 Amazing fun facts about Climbing perch Before we begin we published new videos daily. So be sure to subscribe this channel for the great content Without daily let's start It can be cultured singly or in combination with Magor, Clarius batrachus, and Singi, H. fossilis. It can also be grown in combination with carp fingerlings of over 10 cm sizes. This practice can be employed in order to utilize the insect fauna as well as in respect of the role of fish as a biological check on small insects in water. The adults of A. testudinus are solitary and aggressive. It can gain weight up to 5 to gm in one year. Maturity occurs at the age of 1 when the fishes reach a size of 10 to 12 cm in total length. The sexual dimorphism in A. testudinus is more apparent during breeding season. The mature male acquires a reddish hue on the body, particularly on the pectoral and ventral fins. The female shows only a faint reddish color. Further in the male a distinct diamond-shaped black spot appears in the caudal peduncle. The mature male acquires a reddish hue on the body, particularly on the pectoral and ventral fins. The female shows only a faint reddish color. Further in the male a distinct diamond-shaped black spot appears in the caudal peduncle. In the breeding season, the female exhibits a prominent bulge at the vent, resembling the genital papillae while in the male this structure is absent. Mature male oozed out white milt and mature female oozed out ova even at a gentle pressure at the abdomen during breeding season. In nature the eggs are scattered in open water at the onset of the rains without any nest. The male wraps itself in the female body fertilizing the eggs as they are laid. Each time 200 colorless eggs are released until about 5,000 numbers are laid. The fecundity varies from 5,000 to 35,000 numbers. The eggs rise to the surface and float. The eggs hatch in 24, HRS and the fairy are about 2 to 3 millimeters long. They are free swimming within 2 days of hatching. Please hit like and subscribe our channel for more amazing content in the future.